Here at the Burgerspital, a famous sanatorium in Baal in Switzerland, surgeons, physiologists and students assemble to investigate the strange case of Miriam Dejo. A middle-aged Dutchman, he has lived for many years in India. Before showing this film, we asked Britain's foremost surgeon to comment upon the demonstration. His explanation was given in the presence of Chapman Pincher, Daily Express science correspondent. Here is Chapman Pincher to report. You are going to see a man have a 28-inch sword thrust through his body without hurting him. This is no fake, neither is it a miracle. It could probably be done to you if you were willing to submit first to a dangerous operation. My authority for saying this is one of our most distinguished surgeons who saw the film with me. He explained it all this way. Years ago, Indian mystics showed Dejo how swords could be passed through their bodies without causing injury. They persuaded him to let them experiment. A thin round sword was pushed through his skin between the ribs low on the left side. This would hurt, but Dejo had probably been hypnotized. There must have been some loss of blood too. By careful manipulation of the sword, it could be worked further into the body so that the point missed most of the vital organs. Then with a quick thrust, the liver could be pierced and the sword pushed through between the ribs of the other side. Now all this would be very risky. There would be considerable bleeding and Dejo must have been ill for several weeks after the operation for it is clear that the sword does pass through the right lobe of the liver. But once the wounds had healed, a straight path of insensitive scar tissue would be formed. A sword thrust carefully along this path would cause little pain or bleeding because there are no nerves or blood vessels in scar tissue. Eventually, a permanently open channel could be formed right through, making the passage of the sword easy and safe in future. This explains why the sword is always inserted in the same places and by the same man. Those are the facts and a scientist's explanation. Meantime, Miriam Dejo eats and lives as an ordinary individual. The key to his secret is still locked in Eastern mysticism.